Jeff's Pirates Cove owner, Jeff Pleadwell, says that recent plower glitches have fried three pieces of equipment at his southern restaurant. Here's more. We've been having lots of uh, on and off situations, glitches in the power, and it's causing my uh, appliances, TV sets, micros, POS systems, all the sensitive and even not so sensitive equipments to go out or I, some of them just knock off and I can bring them back, but some get totally destroyed. Jeff Pleadwell has owned and operated the Jeff's Pirates Cove restaurant for over 30 years. He says that last Friday, thousands of dollars worth of equipment were destroyed by a power glitch. A freezer, a TV that used to hang above his bar, and his fax machine. Over the years, the power has become worse and worse. There's too much politics in the Guam Power Authority. And the decisions made by management and the decisions made by our senators and our elected officials are not helping the people of Guam at all. I've had this business 38 years. My biggest problem throughout those 38 years has been the Guam Power Authority. Over all the years he's done business, Pleadwell estimates he's spent tens of thousands of dollars on equipment that he's lost due to power glitches. A business needs clean, pure power. Today's world is full of computers and full of like these microsystems for your register and everything. Even though you have UPS protection, these glitches can get through and toast your appliances. Pleadwell showed us the numerous surge protectors and battery backups he has throughout his business. Pleadwell says as a business owner and a taxpayer, he's frustrated with the state of Guam's power system, which is why he feels it's time to privatize GPA. But I would like to see a company that is responsible to the people of Guam come in and run this and do a good job. A company that has proven themselves to do a good job other places. Pleadwell thinks the power glitch may have happened last week Friday, but he's not exactly sure. Meanwhile, GPA spokesman Art Perez says there were no power quality issues on Friday in that area. Perez says without an exact date, they can't be sure of what exactly happened or whether or not the damage to Pleadwell's equipment is due to electrical problems in his business. Perez did, however, note that a storm did cause some power problems last week, but GPA issued advisories warning residents to isolate equipment if they are having power quality issues.